वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट मैकेनिकल थ्री डी प्रिंटर विच इज अवेलेबल एट मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ चंडीगढ़ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी अ कॉलेज एफिलेटेड बाय पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट थ्री डी प्रिंटर एंड द सॉफ्टवेयर यूज फॉर जनरेटिंग अ सिंपल पार्ट सो टाइटल हेयर इज 3D printer simple part, basically a printer machine. Objective of this course is to learn about the basics of printing and the basics of 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 the and 3d models on autodesk inventor and after that you can import those models into idea maker software for 3d printing of the components this is the present machine available with chandigarh college of engineering and technology its name is raise 3d it is bought from adriatic so for 3d printing we will use two softwares autodesk inventor and idea maker for basic preparation of any model first we need is a 2d sketch for that we are using autodesk inventor professional which is a free version from autodesk site for students and educators this is your basic first screen of autodesk inventor here we will go for new project so we'll click a new and this is the first screen you will get here you can select different modes like english inches metric millimeter where we will work these are different type of extensions available in inventor this is your first display screen of inventor here we have 3d model tools and sketch tools firstly we will go for 2d sketch we will select a plane here x y plane to start working we will make a rectangle here of dimension 60 in x axis and 30 in y axis after creating a rectangle we will finish sketch and then we will get into 3d part modeling extrude command here we will get a depth of 4 mm and we'll do okay we will get a 3d model here in which we will mention our name or any text that we wish to with alphabets which we want to print on this component here we are using new year 2023 here you can mention different type of textiles their sizes their characteristic bold and where to place in center or on sides so here we have it in center we'll again extrude it by side by a height of 1.5 mm after getting this component ready we have to make a keyring so we'll make a circle first here on this corner so that we will put a ring here for keyring we will then cut this circle on this edge and this will be our model our model will be ready here after completing your modeling part we will save this file as an stl file because that will be processed in your idea maker software for generating codes g codes for our machine so this is basic display screen of idea maker here you can see this all options are in gray color because they are not active so what we need is first we need to do is we need to import a model here after selecting a stl file from here our model will be on the screen it is basically a bed of 300 mm by 300 mm every 3d printer has a bed of some specific some specific in every 3d printer with specific dimensions now the commands are active here so you can scale it increase you can increase the size here you can rotate the piece or you can make a multiple components here on single bed after moving them on sides then you will go for start slicing after clicking on start slicing you will have three templates speed standard and high quality this depend on the layer height that we will take 
the infill density and the infill speed that will be there to improve the quality of the process or to get the component at a faster speed. You can change that thing here in edit where you can increase or decrease infill density. We'll save and close it here and then we'll go for slice options. Here after post processing it will show us that for this component the G codes have been prepared and the estimated printing time for this component will be 42 minute 29 seconds and estimated weight will be 10 gram and the dollar price will be 0.30 dollars after exporting the file into a pen drive we'll save it here as G code after saving we will have the option to check the preview when we click on preview it will show us that these are three surfaces the purple is the skirt which is outer surface where our tool will first flow the material so that we will be able to check whether the quality of the material is good or not then there will be raft on which our component will be made uh, after completion of the process on machine this will be the final outcome to us that's all thank you